Okay, we got Crimea. We got engineering. Uh, $20 or send one back as a warning. We're probably going to send one back as a warning, right? Yeah, sure thing, pull over. It's actually industrial. That's not good. I'll be a militant. Nordic agricultural. All right. Let's talk about the tier list for a minute here. We've got Saxony Industrial up at A. We've got Crimea Engineering at A. We've got Nordic Agricultural at C. And Albion Militant at B. But I don't like this matchup because Saxony can choose. I go last, first of all. Saxony can choose to rush me. And even if they don't rush me, they're going to be all over Albion and Nordic. Which means this game may be over before I have a chance to do much because Mia Engineering is a little bit slow. I mean, it can end in 14 turns, but I just don't like to. Hey, have a good night, Scott. It's my turn. I am going to start with a produce. See a quick mech out of Saxony. See if they rush me. No, they put it down there, which means they're not don't think they're going to rush me. Hey, insert. Thanks for the welcome back. Yeah, it's fun to be streaming again. I don't know if you guys can tell, but since the last time I streamed, I've upped my internet connection to fiber, so... Quality... It'd be a lot better. You're uh, streaming at basically the max resolution. I don't completely know how YouTube transcoding works and all bit rate. I just know that I'm sending a really high bit rate to YouTube and pretty high resolution. I don't think my good old computer could handle 4K or anything like that, but like I don't know if my computer is even compatible with that. Nordic Agricultural has an uphill battle here for sure. But it looks like they are going to go with mechs. Oh, and enlists. Start to trade our way toward mech number one, which is going to be a speed mech. And just hope Saxony... I don't want to see Saxony trade for metal right now. I want to see them move to this encounter probably the better play for them yes and it also means they're not trying to invade my base as quickly as possible pull over QQ are you planning on continuing your series on different faction Mac combos you know I as I have time certainly thought about it thinking maybe I don't know maybe doing a Saxony one what I thought I might do is uh, I've talked with another player who's really good and probably the best Tagawa player I know about doing a general tutorial on playing Tagawa. You know, it doesn't focus on any particular mat. So I, I think that would be a... I think that would be something that people would like to see. Heck, I'd like to see what he has to say in there and always learn something from other people. So he said he'd do it. I just, that was a while ago. I got to circle back with him. Part of the thing here is to send one back, we gotta get to seven power, which means we're gonna have to bolster, right? Uh yep. Reproduces gets us 
free food, which is enough for our first enlist. It also gives us our worker star. And the two trades in between give us our speed mech, which means we can spread these workers out between these two spaces the same turn we take this encounter. So I know basically two really good ways to play for me engineering. One of them puts six workers on the metal, goes for mechs, enlists, you know, your typical stars, and tries to end in turn 14. Another one that stretches the game out a little longer and builds. It's a little vulnerable to Saxony, I'm not going to lie. But these objectives, I don't know what choice I have. If I've got to either build to get the coins or I've got to build to get the power. So I think I'm going to play a build game here and just hope that I can ward off Saxony. All right. Now we're down to three coins. I'm so poor getting with this strategy. Comes Mac number two for Saxony. Let's see here. No one to pick on yet for them. Underpass, I would think. Yes. Lower, do you consider Rusty it should be removed on four player games without the expansion? I mean, it depends. I I think if you're playing with really competitive players who are really good, you should just be doing bid games. Which, let's see here. There's a bidding app that this will link to in a minute. Nightbot still loves me. Nordic. Still only now just getting to that to that Mac. Okay, let's go to four power here. And here's where if Saxony had just made it their business to rush us, they could have three mechs out right now and probably move into our territory and take our stuff. They didn't do that, they don't have river walk. Yeah, pull over. Um bids would be the way to go with really experienced players. But kind of casual to intermediate players, I mean, it's really just your call. If you find that Crimea is almost as strong as Rusviat, so, I mean, you pick your poison, you take out Rusviat, you just have Crimea. I know what some people have done is kind of force Crimea and Rusviat to take the engineering and agricultural boards. Rusviat engineering is actually really good if you know how to play it. It's just, if you're not doing bid games I mean there I mean let's pull this tier list back up real quick you notice a lot of red and yellow up at the top there but I mean there's some there's some white and there's some black and there's even some blue up there too so if Rusvi it gets patriotic say and for me it gets engineering and Polonia and Saxony gets some good mats it could be interesting So what, what do we see here? Nordic, a trade for two metal to get a mech. Wow, two enlists already out of Albion. No one's got any points yet to speak of. Okay, this is where I gotta decide the split. And I think I'm gonna take a risk here. And I'm gonna put... I'm gonna do a 6-2 split with six on food, which means I'm probably going to build one other mech, which means no scout this game. Unless, you know, I, I get enough cards and I want to spend... Let's see here. I can't do number three because I need that pop. Uh, this is kind of nice. Oh wow, that's all the wood I need. Is 
That's a great encounter because I, I want to build. I'm going to build after I get an upgrade on this, which means I can combine combat cards with one wood each. And it leaves me one coin, which is enough to produce. No, I can't do it. No, because I'll get a coin off of here. I'm good. Um, take this, take this, insert says you realistically need all players to have a lot of games under their belt to make bid worth it. I agree with that. Yeah, pull over. If your group's casual, I mean, just do what works for your group. If you find that Rusty's always winning, I mean, take... Take Rusviet out, or give Rusviet the agricultural mat. Um, every time, <laughs> I mean, just handicap him in some way. I think even if a casual, even a casual group, I think if they're open to it, bidding can be interesting. Because even if they don't know every combination, they can still bid sort of approximate values on the factions. And then it's just a learning experience. And if someone bids a bunch on Rusviet, agricultural, and then goes, wait, this mat is slow as all get out. I mean, it's a learning experience, right? Okay, Saxony just moved. We have two coins here. Saxony actually gonna go for uh, enlist? That would be nice. Them attacking me with Riverwalk would not be nice. Nope, disarm. They're not coming for me. Not yet. Mm <laughs> hmm. Our game sends the last pullover says I mean our game sends the last 19 to 20 turns and you're always finding a way to end it so fast makes me wonder. Yeah, you really meta play usually ends the game in anywhere from 12 to 16 turns if there's a good rush combination on the board. Fastest I've ever done is 10. I've heard tell of nine and even once an eight, but the legends, legends I cannot confirm. A we'll move from Nordic and an upgrade. To make a lot of food right there. Some nifty little moving there. Make themselves two produces, gives them enough for some more max. Vaccine can move. Oh, Nordic gets some combat cards, but look at this. Vaccine can go after. Norda can disarm them this turn. I bet they're going to do that. My, I have to decide here. I'm going to trade for two metal, build a mech, and just kind of live contentedly with two mechs. Or if I'm going to Spend a card here and potentially get Scout later with that additional metal. Need the cards right now. The one starts. 
and I have no coins. Naz losing. Coming for you, Nordic. Wait, no? Oh, Sax, you could have just wrecked Nordic. I just ended his game right there. Disarmed him, sent him back. He couldn't have made a mech to put here. You would have been done. You wouldn't have had to worry about him anymore. I don't know why you didn't. He was just plodding along, playing the long game. Space is pretty safe. We're gonna leave the resources there. No one can really invade it. Nordic eventually, but they're so far away from doing that. One more produce would give me enough metal for two more max. And this oil would give me an upgrade. Let's take an encounter. I mean, we're vulnerable to Saxony, but anything we do right now that advances our plan gonna make us vulnerable to Saxony unfortunately well that's an easy choice right and we have to spin the card here um let's take this And let's try to keep Saxony from stay away from us. Part of the reason I brought this guy out here is if Saxony is going to only attack me once, I'd like for them to attack me here, but they're probably going to attack me here because they can disarm. Let's see what they do. We got your break here. Wonderful. Saxony still doesn't have river walk. The space is still safe. Ooh, tier two? Saxony industrial? Oh, one factory card and zero upgrades? But why not get more workers? You never muscle too? I, I don't know. I don't know. Me and my one coin losing right now, but that's okay. What's the building bonus? We gotta start thinking about that straight line. like this. Don't need the extra oil, so let's go, go move and 
build. We now have enough wood for four buildings. We have enough metal for four mechs. We don't even have to do an objective, really. Could have upgraded the card, maybe should have done that. But it looks like Nordic's going to start enlisting, and Saxony's not going to steal the food from him. Saxony still not getting Riverwalk, which means this space means this space is still safe for now. The power situation on the board. Hmm. If I'm going straight line, I've got to either I can go this way or I can go this way. Vaccine's on this spot. Either spot ends on a tunnel. Or it doesn't mean a whole lot right now. Saxony is not playing a quick game. He's had opportunities for combats, he hasn't taken them. I say he, it's Eric, so. Assume it's Eric. And that's a he. Okay, there's a move into a deploy. Ooh, three popularity. You have it, Albion? They do. It take five resources right here. They want them. Pretty amazing. We build right here. Who's moved? Vaccine can move. I think Nordic's going to give us a card. They can move, but I think they're going to bolster. Do an enlist. Now they have four food, and that's enough for all their enlist. Oh, they just paid the $2 to get two power and two pop. Ooh, tier two. Albion Militant. 16 coins. It was just at 22 somehow. No stars, no resources. Alright. Nope. Going to the factory. Hmm. No river walk. Space is still safe. No popularity enlist out of Nordic. Or Saxony, don't have to worry about helping my neighbors with building. Factory card number 15, which is use a resource, power, and a combat card. Gotta think about this one. Two enlists, two max, no buildings. Are we really going to go for buildings? Why would we go for buildings at this point? No one has any points. We would go for buildings because we can't get... No, we can get send one back. What are we talking about? Just need one more power. Er, er, arg. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. The Wing Gambit DLC ever came out for Digital Edition, would it be a part of the competitive rule set scene? 
That's hard to know. Um, I haven't played Wing Gambit a lot, but I've been told that it kind of unbalances the game somewhat, especially some of the additional rules. But the players um, who run the tournaments might find a way to use part of the expansion for it. I could see that happening. All right, let's take some power and let's put put this here. That's going to do a couple things. That means I can still put a mine here if I want. And it also opens up this empty, currently unoccupied channel for the straight line bonus. Okay, produce out of Saxony. Here comes the last mech. So this space is now vulnerable and it has a lot of resources on it. But I can now get send one back. Got to worry about Albion's points starting to skyrocket here. Nordic's going to funnel me a card, which is nice of them. Anyone just have no cards? No. Scout won't help that much. Nordic have artillery? No. resources out of the way. And let's double up. double up there to preserve the character thing on the board or I could just go ahead and get send one back double up here get the character safe too bad I have to burn a four but I do I'm not that far away from tier 2 to be honest. I'm only one point off the lead. Could have taken the factory. I give up my objective if I do that. I'm kind of playing. <laughs> I'm not really committing to any one strategy right now it seems. I'm not really sure if that's a good thing. May not be a good thing. Saxony is not playing an aggressive game with Saxony Industrial. They had an opportunity to just wreck this game. That opportunity is not 
there anymore because everybody has power now, but it certainly was for a while. I think I want to build an armory now, maybe. I mean, the sixth popularity. What's on this account? He's going to get an enlist. Enlist number two for Saxony. Nordic's technically winning, but he's got a factory that he's going to struggle to hold. Only got one star. Or star? I mean, we only have one star. We're not pretty close to any of the others either. Uh, enlist is close. About Nordic. No. Not really close. Albion's gonna take their second encounter. Oh, metal! They got some metal! Oh, they don't take it though! Why not? You're not gonna get tier 3, Albion. And you're winning, but. It's a very precarious lead you have there. I mean, that's a combat we could take. Next move action. Use a power and a couple cards. Ooh, factory's empty. And protect that food from Saxony. Creative movement here by Nordic. I'll be in still in the lead. Uh. We need power, right? Send one back. Put this. Here. That way we're guaranteed at least three in a row because no one's getting to this spot. And seven. Here too gets us another seven plus four. Eleven. We'd be in the lead with one more building. Plus the additional straight line bonus. What did Saxony do? They went to eight, eight workers, so they're going to start to spread. They're going to pick up some points. All right, let's get two stars this turn and pick up a factory card while we're at it. Get enlist. Can we get a can we get a combat too? This is a good place for this mech because it can Ooh, there's a combat. So a mech to here. Character to here. Dude to here. Spin three power and the seven. Alright, let's try it. Uh, mini bluff. Call this a mini bluff. I don't think Saxony is going to empty there. Yeah. 
absolutely no reason for Saxony to go all out there. Oh, this is good. We can get the last building in the max. Definitely going to take that. If we can give up tier 2 and finish the game earlier and win, we'll do it. So we just need two stars. Would be combat, either some mechs or some buildings. Nordic have artillery, they do not. We don't have a five. It means we can't guarantee a 1v1 with them. I think I'm gonna trade uh, bolster for a card here and then spend the card. Who knows, I may get a five. If I get a five, I can probably end in two turns. Because I would use the Card here, drop down out of tier two. We're gonna get tier two this turn. Hmm. This is one gonna be one of those clogged board tier two games. Three food. Oh, they already had one. Okay. We're we gonna get seven. No oh, wait. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Plus two more. Minus. Oh, we're gonna lose the factory though. That's okay. I think we can get by without the factory. More cards, more cards. I think they're just gonna throw cards here. I think I could win this fight. I'm wrong. Nordic doesn't want the power star. They want the win. Who could have won the fight though? That do for this. What that did for the score yeah 62 this is a patient patient crimea game <laughs> i just took this food I could I could use the popularity into the mech, deploy Wayfair, and then go up here. Oh, everyone's picking on me now. Okay though. Oh, he 
yeah, just cards. Turn in objective sacks, come on. Go to five stars. Ah. Oh. Let's, uh... Who's really the threat here? Albion, right? You'd use the... Sacrifice of Popularity. I'm just scared to drop out of tier 2. Okay. Here's what we're going to And put Wayfair right here. We're gonna Wayfair to here. Take option one to get our popularity back. That's a great option, but not at this stage of the game. So now we can get Oh, it's so close! Look at Albion with 30 coins. I'm not super close to ending it. They have no combats. They just need combats and objectives, but how are they going to get them? turns right building in a Mac buildings gonna give me three more coins extra pop and then three more for the build bonus Four more for the star. That's going to be a nice turn. And that extra pop I can turn around and use to make my last Mac. So. Albion just moved. Nordic can move. Saxon can move. So everyone's going to have to try to just bump my workers. We're going to see if it's enough. We really gonna do a one combat? Premier engineering. Ooh, left the factory. I don't know about that, guys.
Did they bring workers with them? Can I counterattack? No. No counterattack for me. Didn't think. Who won it, I guess? You guys should have taken that chance. Alright, Tide. Have a really good turn. Don't need the stuff on the bottom. By 10. One of these territories is worth three. Stars worth four. So if no one did anything, I would win by 14. They've got to take away five territories from me. Where would they be? One, two, three, four, and five. It's theoretically possible that Saxony would have to riverwalk to here underpass to here to do that and do another one no it's not not possible is it Saxony can take away three and Nordic can take away one unless someone can end for the win Saxony could end for the win they could get combats but I don't think they can get combats See what happens, guys, but I think I've got this. I think I've got this. I'm going to get four more points. Albion can afford to bump. They can't bump one of mine. Bump one of... Yeah, they can't reach me. Saxony's not going to bump. They're not going to bump three. They may bump two. Bump two, and Nordic can bump one, that's three. Nine, put me up by one. Albion can move, but where would they move to? Move here. Yeah, that's what they do, they move here and they plant a flag here. And then I might not have enough to win. Can't forget, never forget, that if your top row action on the factory card ends the game, you cannot use the bottom row action move. I've won a game once because somebody forgot that. I just dropped the mech and that was it. All right, Albion. Albion's got to move that. Oh. Well, that works, I guess. They win that fight? Yeah, because they're going to sword and then they're going to get disarmed. Yeah, they can win the fight. Yeah, that's a good play for Albion. Especially if they can turn in an objective. I may not be able to end. No one bumped any of my workers so far. I'm just going to lose one worker. Most. Albion picks up two, that's six, plus a. Uh, Albion picks up ten. Say I lose three. I think I win by one. Nordic doesn't have a regular move. 
All they could do is use a factory move and they can just take away one worker from me. Can they get any more points? No, because they can't afford to go here. Drop out of tier 2. Nowhere else to expand to. She wrote, guys, that factory card, clutch. Wow. <laughs> 18 turns in all its glory. Premier Engineering. Hey, Albion, shout out to Albion Militant. Peter Carl here played Albion Militant really well. Um, just got kind of hemmed into a corner. Uh, yeah, well played. Well played. Good game. Hey guys, I think I'm going to sign off here. But uh, thanks for watching, and we will do this again soon. And it's not going to be two months again before I'm uh, streaming again. Uh, have a good night.